this episode might be a little bit longer than the rest because we have a bunch of stuff to do and a lot of matches to play in this month and next but we're going to be starting with Celta Vigo away from home so I'm going to put Rise in place of ZH here I'm going to play Bart ahead of Locatelli the long started and I think that's pretty much all I want to do I'm pretty okay with what we have right now and we draw the match captain gets the goal and they were able to equalize in the 84th minute so a draw really isn't what I needed right there up next we have the match against Trabzon Sport. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right or not I'm going to be going with the main team here and let's see if we're able to get the win and we should because this is a really low low, low rated team and James Gia gets another goal ZH and Kallenberg I wonder what happens to Fontega and all the goals that he has been scoring. Next up we are home against Cadiz and we have the Barcelona match right after this one so I am going to make a couple changes I'm bringing Batch on I'm bringing Kudus on and maybe I will play Cabrera no let me just leave Fonseca on hopefully they take him off from the scenes I'm going to bring in Maduke here for um German and maybe I'll bring Lozano Lozano in for Donovan and I think I think we should be good that's really good rotation and I'm going to sim the match. Hopefully, we can still get the win. And we don't. That's yet another draw in the La Liga. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. On take and Zara to get the goals. With that, we have dropped ourselves down to sixth position. And we are facing a really, really big threat. That is Barcelona. And if they win us, that's going to be really bad for us. But if we do win this match and results elsewhere go our, go our way, then we are going to probably jump all the way back up to third position but I mean it's looking highly impossible also as soon as should be our main target and I really do want to get back to the Champions League position this season and I think that should be possible that should be a possibility because the team is actually going really well I honestly can't help but think that if I didn't rotate the score we might have gotten a win in that match and with the fact that we were at home at that made it even worse that we did not get the win and now this is going to be a really tough match for us I'm going to be bringing Rise into the match yet is not really all that full on health and I'm not going to be making any other changes I'm, I'm, I'm putting my strongest team here I honestly feel that feel like um Rise is stronger than ZH maybe because he's younger he's a lot faster but I mean ZH is still the all-round better player because he has more experience and stuff like that but Rise is going to be starting in this match one man the focus of attention in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league can he add to his total today on EA TV so you heard them Fonseca is still the top scorer in the league and let's hope that he can get a goal to at least a goal or more to at least put himself higher because he hasn't really scored a lot this episode i mean he only scored one goal out of the three matches that we have simulated but this is the match against barcelona we have to go all out here we absolutely have to go all out here because this match if we lose it i don't know how much we're going to drop down the table so as, as usual priority here is possession but you know the game as usual has plans to fuck all that up all right so we got a good interception there and now we have somewhat of a really good opportunity let's see if we can get to german and we don't but fontega still has it and that is a really good goal right off the bat i can't really believe that we got a goal so fast fontega did get the goal and uh, let's just see if we can actually keep this lead i mean kunde did really well to block that but fontega got it back immediately and was just able to fire it into the post so that was a really good slide from donovan there that was a really good slide and that actually possibly save their asses all right so they have a corner and there's a possibility here but van dre saved it i really wanted to do the corner the counter attack rather and let's just see if we can try that again and i mean we should be able to we should be able to but it just doesn't get all the way to fonseca and we have a possibility to score yes we do so please just oh my god why why did that happen why did you take so, so much time to shoot it all right so that's a good interception from fonseca and is there anybody there nobody there at all okay we have kallenberg at the far post but ter Sagan got his hand on that and i mean i basically pushed it to the post just now we've done pretty well in the first half to get a goal and be able to keep us from getting the equalizer but i'm I, i'm really not sure that we can actually do that for the entire 90 minutes we have to be able to get another goal for us to be able to have any hopes of winning this match oh my god you guys just see what happened just now did you guys just see what happened just now i have no idea how the fuck that happens every single freaking time all right take it short and let's see if german can do anything to get the ball he does he does that's good and now we have a possibility 
please get it, please get it, please get it. He actually does, but just wasn't comfortable enough to be able to hold the ball. Okay, so that was actually pretty good. I was able to get the goal here. Thank you, Kallenberg. And that was actually really, really lucky for German to be able to get the ball back there. And that was a really good fucking pass, to be honest, to be able to find Kallenberg like that. I really don't even know how he did it, but the ball just went through everybody and Kallenberg, there's no way, there's no way he will go to miss from there. So we're now tuning up. I want to make a couple changes here. I'm bringing Batch in for Locatelli and then, whoops, that was, that was a mistake. And I am bringing Lozano for Helbig and I'm going to put Donovan on the left there. So we're leaving Barcelona 2-0 in, in, in the new camp. And to be honest, I'm actually not satisfied with this yet because anything can happen. I'm playing freaking ultimate here and I'm playing my absolute freaking best to be able to do something like this and let's just hope that we can actually keep our results this way. Oh, oh my days, he actually saved that. That was so scary. Counter attack coming here and let's see if nah. He was completely held up there by Kunde. But oh 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 he still got the ball. He still got the freaking ball and I cannot believe that I actually wasted that opportunity. I can't believe I wasted that opportunity. I, I I literally froze there. I didn't know what the fuck to do and I actually just oh, God. that was our chance for 3-0 up. Oh my I that is so annoying. That is so freaking annoying because there's really nothing you could have done there. Literally nothing you could have done to stop that. That is fucking bullshit. It's not too late for Barcelona to be able to get the equalizer though. So what I want to do right now is try and hold, hold the ball here, beat that press and just try and do what it is. Like whatever, whatever possible it is to be able to get the win in this match. Well, I think we pretty much won this match. Yes, we have. And that is 2-1 to Barcelona. We're actually able to hold our position there and make sure we do not drop any more points. And it's actually a really huge win against Barcelona here. 2-1. We could have beaten them 3-1 if German just didn't freaking freeze there and do no sense. I think it was my fault to be honest. And I actually really regret that I actually wasn't able to, to get a goal for him. Next up we have Ryo Valicano but the team is actually low on stamina. So I'm just going to do a couple changes here. I'm going to bring Cabrera in, in place of Fonseca. Then Lozano in place of Stewart. I really don't have anyone else to replace Zara Chubo. I mean, he's pretty good. And I think this should be okay. And I would simulate the match. Let's hope that we do get the win. And no, we don't. We draw the fucking match yet again. I mean, these sims are so annoying because why the hell are we drawing so many freaking times? Every single one of the simulations we played for La Liga this episode, we have drawn every single one of them. It's really fucking our chances of actually getting into the top four. It's, it's beginning to really annoy me. There's a transfer offer for Zaracho. I have no idea why it's in the middle of the freaking season. But I'm going to reject that either way because I'm not selling any of my players anytime soon. Next match, we're at home against Trabzon Sport. We won them fair and square in the last match, but this time the team is pretty tired. I'm going to be taking German off and I'm bringing Noni Maduke. And then the captain is just going to rest for a little bit. Batch is going to come on for him. And I think I should be good. I'm just going to rest Stewart once again and Donovan once again. So let's hope that this is actually enough for us to get the win in this match. Hopefully we actually can get the win and we do. Fonseca gets a goal, he gets a brace in this match. To be honest, I actually don't quite understand what the fuck is going on in this episode. Is it because it's an ultimate that we can't win a match in the Sims or something? Because, I mean, the team that we have played, I, I know for a fact that our team is better than theirs on paper. So why exactly are we getting so many draws? Like, is there actually a reason why we're getting so many draws in the matches? I actually don't know. But up next, we have Athletic Club. I'm not going to be making any changes to the lineup. ZS, Fonseca, German are starting three here. And I'm going to be playing the full highlights both attack and defense and let's see if we can get the win over athletic club we kick off no time to waste time let's just see what the first order of business is all right so what can we do here let's just try not to fuck this up doing this guy's move is so annoying so freaking annoying but that is actually a really good chance but we lost the ball there and this is a golden freaking opportunity if we can actually get this that's going to be a really good goal so let's just try and what? Why? Why would you pass to him of all people? I mean, I obviously did. All right, let's try and do something. These guys can't be serious. These guys can't be fucking serious. I mean, I don't even do anything, and that's the shit I get. But well, this should be a really good counter attack here for German. I mean, you shouldn't really. Okay, the edge is open, and that is a. 
really good opportunity that was missed there. They have a crossing opportunity for themselves here and let's just try and defend this as best as we can. I swear to God, if this guy score, I'm going to be so pissed. I mean, it's a good opportunity, but I think I want Fonseca to take this. These free kick starts are really good now and let's see if I can just get a goal with this. And we actually got the goal. Oh my days, that's the first free kick I've scored in FIFA. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful goal. We have a chance here. And we give it straight to Fonseca, who is straight offside. What the hell? They have a penalty now. That sucks. And we are in the 50th minute. And let's just hope that we can at least get... Yes, we do. And that's really good for us. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Obviously, German is the best option. And I have no idea why that, that just happened. That is fucking bullshit, to be honest. That is fucking bullshit. I, I make a normal pass, and that's the kind of nonsense that this team does. This team has completely, or rather, not even the team, this game has completely fucked me up in this match. I mean, lucky enough, we're able to get that goal with Fonseca. Beautiful goal of that. But other than that, every single thing, all the scenarios I got, the team, or rather, the game fucked it up before I even had a chance to do anything. But this freak, though, that was absolutely fucking brilliant. That was fucking brilliant. I really can't believe that you were able to get that. That's the first week I've scored and I'm actually really proud, proud that I was able to do that. Next up, we have the match against Granada and after this, we have Liverpool's match. So I'm going to try and rotate the squad as best as possible while I'm still trying to get the win. I'm going to be simulating this one as well and let's hope that we at least get a win from the fucking teams. And finally, we do Ziyech and Stewart get the goals for us. We lost the first match against them 2-1 at Anfield and let's just hope that at the uh, Stadio de Cohetes we can actually do way better. We're going to be playing the highlights as well, both attacking and defending and this is going to be really tough. I'm playing defending because I don't want any surprise goals and I think I, I, think I actually prefer the attacking and defending because it actually gives me more control over the match. I actually want to be able to see when we get fucked and when we don't. Alright, so first up is a counter-attack and we have Maduke going up first and I think I see Fonseca but that's, that just doesn't work out for us. And then Liverpool have an attack of their own and they are so close to my freaking post and <clears throat> I feel like I feel like they might actually score here. But if he gives this ball to Salah, we are definitely going to... And that was... Okay, that was a good interception from Stewart. We have yet another attack in the 36 minutes. This is actually becoming rather scary because I really want to be able to at least get a draw. And I mean, we've won all the matches apart from that first one against Liverpool. And what? That is fucking bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. What the hell happened there? And the fact that I can't even see the replays makes it so much fucking worse. Because how the hell, how the fuck does that even happen? Was it a deflection or what? Because I mean, I, I don't think it was a deflection and that is just a, an unnatural way to get a goal and of course they get a second fucking goal there, nothing we can do. Helvig was supposed to be on Salah, I was supposed to track that run but I wasn't able to do anything about it. Now we have a, an opportunity for, um, for us to cross but I think I'm just going to run straight into if I actually can't, I, I actually can't do anything there. I really can't do any fucking thing about anything right now because this game is fucking rigged and there's really nothing you can do once you're, you're playing a really good team like this ultimate but I mean we should be able to get a goal here and we don't of course of course we fucking don't and Liverpool have another opportunity and if they go through do their up I'm really not going to care because I mean this game has done enough as, as it is but it was a good interception the match ends 2-0, we lose the second match against Liverpool and this just shows that, I mean we are, if we win the last match, next match, then we are definitely through to the round of 16, but I mean, this just shows that we are still not ready to at least challenge for the Champions League, I mean, we're definitely not, but I mean, I want to be able to get to the quarterfinals because that's what the board wants me to do. First goal was complete shit to be honest, like was it a deflection? I mean, it wasn't even a deflection, how the hell did you turn like that and immediately shoot? That made no fucking sense to me to be honest. That made no fucking sense for him to turn like that and he, he's likely to even touch the fucking ball. He's likely to even touch the fucking ball and he will to score. What a Gucci goal. Alright, last match of the episode is going to be this one against Real Betis. I'm going to be playing the highlights as well and I don't think I'm going to make any changes to the starting 11. I think I'm pretty much good with what we have 
here or let me put Rise in for ZH because I mean I'm really um, rotating those three players there I think that's good let's hope that we are at least able to get the win in this match all right so we are at the Estadio de Cojetes in the La Liga and I'm jumping straight into the match because I really don't have time to waste on any antics here but let's just try and make the most of our opportunities and try and defend stuff like this as best as possible let's try and go for a clean sheet here hopefully I, I, I can actually stay on my word and I mean, they've pretty much wasted their chance but they still have an opportunity like that and Bandre does a really good job to save that counter attack for us and I see German I think I think German is the best option option right now and please just get the ball to him get the freaking ball to him thank you let's try and cut in and let's see what Fonseca can do and it goes painfully wide but we have Rise with a really good opportunity here and there's no way that they are going to catch him right now. I mean, he's gone. He is gone. But I see, I see German. German might be the better option. And thank you. What a goal. I mean, I could have gone for Rise alone, but I just have little confidence in their one-on-one -on -one skills. I think Donovan got this. I mean, he definitely got this, right? Definitely, yes, he has. All right, and we have yet another opportunity. German, last time he was one-on-one -on -one against Kupa, he completely flunked it. This time, I don't think he should. Definitely does, please. And he actually does, again. This guy is fucking hopeless. Fucking hopeless. Fucking hopeless for the keeper. I have no idea why the hell you are missing shit like that over and over again. And we have an attack here for us. And I think German is in a really good position for, for us to just chip the ball into him. And flee. Oh my god. Oh my god. How? What the hell is that kind of a touch? What the actual fuck is that kind of a touch? And we have a free kick here. And let's see if Fonseca would want to have a go at this. But you know what? Let me just not do that. I'm just going to whip it into the box. And let's hope that we get a head on it. Donovan is there. And that was a really good header. Just that we weren't able to get the best of the opportunity. And we have a solo run for for Real Betis here. And I think we should be able... Oh, no. Good good save from Badri there, let's just clear it immediately and we have won the match 1-0. I'm really not satisfied with the win because we could have done a lot fucking better in this match to be honest. But a win is a win. German is the one that got the goal for us. Fonteca didn't do anything. But this episode has been relatively average because I mean most of the matches were simulated and we freaking drew almost all of them. The only simulations we actually won was the one we did before the Liverpool match and the one against Transon Spur. Currently in fourth position, Real Madrid, Atletico and Barcelona are the only teams ahead of us. Barcelona is only four points ahead of us, although they have a match at hand. Real Madrid as well have a match at hand as well. So, I mean, if they do win their match, which is literally against us, that's, that's fucking scary. I did not notice that we have a match against Real Madrid in the, at the first match of next episode. It's good to see us in fourth place yet again. But anyway, this is the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also drop comments on what you think about the team, what you think about the performance. I really don't think the performance in this episode was really that good. But we we're able to get back into our really beloved top four spot. And let's just hope that we can keep it like that for the remainder of the season. But either way, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.